I, who chose to do this Dark Side of the Moon, it's not about making money. It's not about trying to have like cool bands. It's literally to create a space for black bodies in a scene that has a white hit channel. It's showing that DIY doesn't mean do it yourself. You can do it together as a collective. It means grabbing your friends, grabbing people you trust, and doing something for your people, not just for some representation and some bullshit, but actually for a reason. We always talk about how white hardcore is, and what we can do is continue to build what the fuck we want to see in the scene to the point where we don't need to rely on white hardcore. We don't need to rely on white people, and we can just do this shit ourselves like we're fucking doing this weekend. So this is probably one of the most special weekends I've had ever participating in hardcore. I think a lot of the bands that I play can say the same shit. It's because all the niggas, all the niggas who came out every fucking day and are here fucking today. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, we're fucking move and we're from fucking Boston. Can you just do it? You gotta think about your life. Being a black man in America isn't easy. The hunt is on. And you're the prey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
We will have time. Cool. This next one's called Ally. If you know the words, please help me out, because I sound like shit. <laughs> Yo, help me out. The word 
shows since 1998 and, and I was always the one black guy at the show right you know what I'm talking about like like the black spot in a white room right and it, it always felt like there was no sense of like everyone else talks about unity this and hardcore brotherhood but when it came to black folks sometimes it felt like we were getting pushed out pushed to the side you know so it was always about representation so for it to come full circle, it's 2021, and I see one, two, three, four, five, six, shit, there's 50 niggas in here, there's 60, what? like, this like fills me with so much pride and so much joy, so what I want to tell everyone is to just keep this going, keep this community, like, I'm from Austin, Texas, but that doesn't matter, I threw my black ass up here to Philly, right, like, we, like, we have to form we have to form a community, right? We have to keep this going. We can't let these white motherfuckers push us aside any fucking longer. This is our shit. Hardcore music is black people music. Rock and roll is black people music. They stole our shit and then tried to sell it back to us like we were dumb. No. This is ours. So, yo. So, I just say this with love. Black power.
is a beautiful thing. It will change you who you are. So never let anyone critique you backwards. And the new politics and the new values that you formed. This one's called identity. Yeah. 
We're gonna have some words from Russell Schultz III, the son of Russell Maroon Schultz, a political prisoner who was just released a few months back. We got a number that release is due to the fact that he is, has a terminal disease and is going to hospice care. So let's hear from an OG who's been doing this political work for much longer than I have. Russell Schultz is there. Six of y'all in the down, hey, five, six. Right. Go there, right? Do the homework. Don't just be here just for people of color, but especially non people of color, talking about this music. You here to watch hey, five, six hardcore music, but why you interrupting with some message about Russell Schultz or Mumia or any political prisoner? Why? because of them bands that I just named and this culture in general. If you think that these people are proud, I'm so proud and I love every one of y'all. I love every elbow, knee, push, Africa, pick up, throw down, space for the sisters. We gotta do that more. We gotta do that more. We gotta be conscious of that the whole way through. We building a new space. This is our space now. We built it. We're not gonna be here. We're gonna take this probably to one art or something. And we're gonna do this big, big. Cause this is us. We here now, we done. I'm so proud of everybody here. It's this, 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 what y'all see, y'all people, what y'all did, y'all did this. What you talking about? I've been to them shows, all them shows, by myself. You know what I'm saying? So this is, this is, this is heaven. You created heaven. And we about to do it again. Let's go. Give it up for yourself. And Zulu about to be on. Give it up for yourself. Let's get it in. Let's, I want to feel you. This, my dad just came home from prison. This is the first time I felt you. Thank you. My dad did 50 years for you. You helped me bring him back home. This community. This community helped bring my dad back home. Definitely move. Definitely Zulu. Definitely action. This is the community. And we have we need more of this. This interaction. This history lesson. This connection. This is our music. Yes, we share it. We've shared everything. We always shared everything. It's not some uh, secular thing. It's not, we, we don't, we, we already knew it wasn't about us, per se. But we don't need to hide it and make it like it's not ours and be ashamed of it. I'm, I'm never ashamed of this. I'm never ashamed of running into y'all. I love running into you. I like running into you like this. Let's do it again. I want to run into you some more. Thank you. 